Hey everyone, it is Char from Char's Fascination, back to regularly scheduled program, and, okay, you know how we all hate seam ripping? Admit to that. Okay, so here's what happened last night. I had to seam rip off my pockets and try to do them right, which, by the way, and this is for the Vogue Pattern 1671 Yellow Dress Challenge, which I will be trying to get the bodice and the skirting done in one day, which this is possible. It's only 10.58 in the morning, let's say 11 o'clock. Um, and this, this is where I have the pocket sewn on, but I made a flu boo. Okay. So what I'd like to show you is an easier way to seam rip, and that's why you're going to see this portion of my body. Don't worry about that. I did my exercise. I just need to adjust my shirt. Don't pay attention to that. Anyway, <laughs> um, so right here, of course, this is my overlock stitch. That's the inside, so let's not worry about that. Now, what I would like to show you with the Oh So Endeavoring Seam Ripper is ripping out the seam. So, as it seems to be here, it's on the wrong side. I meant to put it back over here. This is where it belongs, as you can see by all the little threads. <laughs> So, while I was doing a video call with a friend last night, I accidentally sewed this onto the wrong one, or wrong side of this panel. So, I've come up with an easy way to seam rip everything out. And we're used to going like this, right? Forget that. Forget that. Okay? So, let's find our thread and here's what I found is really easy hold your fabric down catch that up in there and rip it along just make sure you're only catching your threads and this makes seam ripping for our whole entire community out here of us that so make it go better make it go quicker more efficient yes sometimes you may have to pick it up to find that threading lay it back down and seam rip make seam ripping so much easier is that a sewing pun perhaps we're not sure yet. Anyway, so on the flip side of this, since we have enough of that ripped right here, um, we can take that. I don't know if you guys can see that too good. We can go ahead and take that, right? And pull it up. So basically, you're going to lay that flat. And then, there we go. It just makes it easier for me in my arthritis. Because once you got arthritis, titty, try to make everything a little easier. <laughs> yes, I'm making a joke out of it. Arthur's titties. Um, I, I make fun of my appendages. I try not to take it too serious. I mean, I have some serious ones, but I try not to take it too serious. Um, too much positivity in the world to take everything too serious. Uh, that would be like taking the word of the Inquirer or the New York Post as real news, and we all know that's fake. Um, but that's why we go into reality, as it really is, and find a 
better way to do something. Going back to regularly scheduled programming. <sighs> and you see right here where that was seam ripped out. And you'll have like your little pile right here of thread. And it really makes it a lot easier. So I'll show that to you again. So we go back to the underside, right? And as you can see on this, I literally did rolled hem, laid it down, and then stitched on it. Which I will show you as soon as I get this all seam ripped out. You're like, how the heck are you able to see that? Trust me, it's not that easy with the gray thread against this. But I do know where I sewed it. Let's get that back in there in the gray threading. Now, see, you may have to pick it up every once in a while. Just if you're working with the threading that I use, you'll have to pick it up every once in a while. I use an old school threading. It's just that that dark gray actually goes really good with this purple. Okay, do you see how good that is? Look! It's like a little train just going along the track of seams. And just like, or the snow plow of, of the railways. Just, whoops! Oh, caught it! <laughs> I have to sit a specific way at my machine and then every once in a while get up because I'm starting to lose the feeling of my legs. It's sad, but I don't let it get to me. Then I'm starting to lose my legs again. That's why I'm still, you know... Do my exercise as good as possible. And then keeping a positive mind. Oh my gosh, that so helps. And being with positive community really helps. Instead of being the Debbie Downer of the internet. Absolutely. And that's why I wanted to come on here and teach you this today is... Regularly scheduled programming of Get Back to Your Normal on your channels, please, instead of being Debbie Downer. Oh, and did you know, and I used to be diabetic, cheese is a low glucose, by the way. Then um, wheat and sugar. So it's like if you're eating bread, you're actually eating more glucose than you would if you're eating cheese. And I've known this for years. I grew up in farm areas and around doctors and mayors. I, mm -hmm. I hung out with the mayor of a town. In fact, he, he loved my children as if they were his own grandbabies. Mm -hmm. He would see us out in public and he just had to stop and talk to me and talk to my kids and make sure they were, you know, getting the best health care in town and Absolutely, because, you know, I knew their doctor very well because he was my doctor when I was a little girl. And he was very nice. He sent me to Shriners. And unfortunately, he didn't know what Shriners was doing at that time, or he probably wouldn't have sent me. Um, but he was trying to get me some help for my legs. But great, great doctor. Got to give him kudos for being a great doctor. I don't know if he's still alive. 
but I do know his son picked up his medical practice. I do know that because I believe my old doctor, which was my kids' pediatric, um, he ended up getting cancer and his son decided to go to med school, which is great. So, one thing. President Trump is trying to get everything back in order. Uh, next week everything is back to normal. That's going to be great, isn't it? I know not a lot of you like him, but you know, it's going to be great. And that's why I'm saying go back to your regularly scheduled doing your videos. I just call it regularly scheduled program. So... And in a way, we are teaching, and you know, it's kind of like watching TV, if you think about it. And then what we teach people on the internet is regularly scheduled program, um, not, not scare tactics, please. our armed forces are taking care of the rest handing out supplies so surprise surprise on that as well you know medical supplies are being handled by the US armed forces so so I'm saying go back to your regularly scheduled program. No Debbie Downers, please. I'm tired of hearing it. That's why I haven't been watching a lot of things lately. Like, I will see your thumbnail and be like, no, no, no. If you want to know what true lockdown is, not even the, not even the police get to get our local police departments would be shut down, by the way. If you want to know what true lockdown is. Um, and it would be taken over by the armed forces, just so you know. Um, and we don't have that here in South Jersey, so... Go back to your regularly scheduled schedule of teaching on YouTube, please. Debbie Downer, go away. And don't come back on another day. Because we need to be positive together. It's a collective of thought and it's common sense. So... Anyway, we're not going to talk about that. Let's talk about making sure that these seams are completely, completely. I think what's really holding us right here. And we need to finish getting that out of there. So, let's take this into under here. Because that may be, you know, where we need to go. It's just under here. And make sure that we're very gentle with doing this. Because if you see something like this, pick it. Slowly. You see a thick one? Pick it out. You can pick your friends, you can pick your nose, but you can't pick your friend's nose, but you can certainly pick some threads. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Look, I gotta keep you all happy, okay? I'm happy to, like, keep you all happy and... No Debbie Downer allowed. Thank you. A recap of Morgan Donner? Yes. 
we can always watch her channel. Um, or the closet historian or um, from other countries. Um, the history bounder. Absolutely. Oh yeah, and there's another channel. I just... We both just... Um, came to each other's channels because of the history bounding community. Oh my gosh, she does such beautiful work. I don't remember her channel. I have it on my phone phone but right now I'm teaching you guys this and I'll mention her in another one when I get to look in look ta-da how how much easier was that rather than sitting there like much easier all right so put that over there I have my I like one of my little things of buttons right there so, anyway, now that we're done picking that out, <laughs> good thing that this actually, this, I have to say, I sat down on a video call last night with a friend and was like saying, this is like your nightmares um, in this whole thing because where does 11 fit with 8? between the two front panels. Let's see, I can leave this one as is because this will be the front panel that goes with the side panel, which is nine, and which has the other part of this pocket, which is no big deal. I mean, that's, that's a pretty good hemline. That lays pretty darn flat, and I love, 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 love that. Um, the only thing is, I'm not too, like, I, I don't like the shape of the pocket. Let's just put it that way. So we, um, have to make sure that when we put this back on here, we're actually putting it on the correct side. So this is what was just picked clean. Not that clean, but it was just picked. Picky, picky. Picky, picky. Um, and then maybe that explained something last night. Like, I was trying to figure out, like, what the heck is going on here? So that actually goes on the back. This is my other pocket piece. No, that's scrap. Um, I have pockets. I have pockets. They're right here. Um, <laughs> let me find them when I pick. Here it is, it's picky. Um, <laughs> laugh this off. Um, go ahead and put it back on here. Now, when I originally did this one, it was set wrong. So now what I'm going to do with this, because I notched it here and I notched it here, kind of at a slant. Um, now they want you to add circles and belly, belly dances, might as well say that, circles and belly dances, <laughs> to this. And what I'm going to do is just lay it down like this, okay? And let me show you how I did this so it looks a lot cleaner when you stitch. Okay, oops, sorry. Now this is how I'm doing this. And like I said, this is my real dress for the yellow dress challenge. Now I'm not adding in a liner at all. I I don't need no liner. Um, if I don't do a liner, it's because I generally wear something under a garment, but that's just me. I'm not one for liners unless it's absolutely necessary now what I was going to say is take this and this is how I got the other one like really flat it's going to seem weird to you to do this I know 
but now that we've um, got that picked and put back on the correct side, we're going to roll that over correctly because like the top of this does not want to cooperate. Um, roll it and we're not going to roll it in that far. We're only rolling it in maybe a half an inch. And I really got to get the top of this to behave. It doesn't want to behave. Like trying to match your liner of your moccasin. Now, see right there, a moccasin actually needs a skin lining because it's buckeyed, but then it actually needs like the belly liner of of the animal hide. So teaching you this is completely different than than that but i'm just saying uh, but anyway how y'all doing today i mean um i know some of you have been doing some very depressing video and nobody needs that i'm just saying nobody needs depressing we need to be back to doing our regular sewing techniques to show people. And that's why I'm doing this. I'm teaching you how to seam rip a lot quicker. Set this back in place a lot quicker. Um, And uh, then we will take to this to the machine in a minute. As soon as I'm done, you know, roll, roll the hem. Put it flat. Now they say you're actually supposed to iron this. I'm not busting out my iron just for this. Thank you. I don't, I didn't do it last night and I'm not doing it today. It's just, I don't feel like it. And your instructions, by the way, FYI, nightmare on, on Fleece Street. So, <sighs> it is. And it's laughable, though. I, I laughed so hard last night when I was fully reading those instructions, like, my friend could not help but to crack up laughing so hard she hurt her back <laughs> so did i but we laughed so hard and she's like who designed this i'm like a guy she's like does he know what he's doing yeah apparently um so i'm not busting no stones but you know hey we're back up here now. We're about to be over here at the machine. Move my pins. That way I can get them as I go. And um, pull the machine up and let's start sewing this pocket back on. And then you're going to see how much more clean it is. Now lately my thread up here has been trying to sneak out of the needle. So let's sneak that over here instead. I'm trying to be sneak as snickage. Snickage. So, always make sure that my machine is close enough to me. I know you guys think this is a huge mess over here. This is crafting going on over here. So, I actually have different crafting projects going on. Um, I need to finish those trays over there. So, let's put the presser foot down. Now, as I said, I have this set on my serger stitch. I love my serger stitch. It's a clean stitch, and I love it. So, so let's get back to this. So, anyway. Let me take out that first needle, which helps. And 
gonna have enough bobbles for now. <laughs> for now, right? Probably just enough for this pocket, enough about it, and then I have to redo. Now re-spin another one to finish off the rest of this dress. Now I don't know if I have enough gray thread left, but that's okay. I have my. 3,000 yards of um, thread from Fabric Mart, which this is my homemade holder. Homemade holder for that. Um, but that is my thread from Fabric Mart. Which I'll probably switch over to. It's been really nice lately just to be able to sew during the day whenever I want. Like, oh my gosh. You guys know that I always had to wait for a person to wake up. I don't have to do that anymore. And it's like sewing freedom. Oh my gosh. It's so much more freedom not to have to wait for that person to wake up. So, I've had sewing freedom lately. Okay, there we go. Bring up your foot. And this is what I've been doing lately. So, I, there's always seems to be a third thread just dangling there for some, I don't know what reason. Anyway, so what I do is I keep those caught under the foot. And let me find my scissors. Those are important. They're here. I know they are because I had them here last night. There they are. Anyway. Oh, I don't edit anything. It doesn't really bother me. So, anyway... I will end up cleaning up the little thread areas right here from what I picked out last night because it was so weird. So I'll end up just like basically go along and clean that off. But this lays so much more flat as you can see than my mock-up. My mock-up was I don't know what was, y'all just didn't give enough give for we big bossy gals, so, um, and women with shape all together, so, um, that's panels eight and eight, so let's put panel eight and eight over here, and then we need to move on to panel nine, which Gosh knows we have to find over here. <laughs> um, make sure that wasn't panel nine. No, that, that's panel eight. Okay. And what I do is I just generally hold them very carefully. And I have to do what um, costume drama was showing how to do with, you know, freezer paper which is different than your wax paper and it just transfers just to make it thicker and it lasts longer and thank you for that costume drama kudos to you um she has a great channel her channel is a must what is this is this panel nine this might be panel nine some of my panels went like awry from each other. Yeah. Well, my panel pieces decided to stray. Oh, that's the bust. That's important. I have to do that. And I just need panel nine. That's all. Panel number nine. Actually, that might be that leftover uh, panel. 
Panel number nine. I think this is panel number 12. Some of these panels went weird. Like, you only have to chew. And, like, this is weird because I think some of my panels went astray. And I don't like that when that happens. I really don't. And that's panel 11. Who likes it when your panels go awry? Now, where does panel 11, why is that really in between 8 and 8? Where, where does that mathematically make any sense? <laughs> it's funny. Um, so as soon as we find the other part of panel 9, um, now I, this is panel 12. That's panel 12, so I have to find the other part of panel 9 here somewhere. That's panel 10, I believe. Yep, that's panel 10. Like I said, isn't this weird? Because, like, you have all this stuff, but the panel you're looking for is here somewhere. <laughs> We can laugh about this. It's here somewhere. Amongst the other fabric. <laughs> Which, no, I think this is 12. Where is this spare piece at? Oh my gosh. It's like it disappeared on us. I don't know what's going on here. I'll tell you, it's weird. This is weird. I had two of panel nine already cut out. <laughs> this is the Twilight Zone, my friends. Two of panel nine. And let me see if. Because this has gone weird. I think this is panel 12, to tell you the truth. This is, this is weird. Where did it go? Where did it go? That's panel 11. Panel 12, which I cut two of yesterday. Look. I'm going to have to say, because this fits on the pattern, that for some mysterious reason, this is actually the odd cut piece of panel 12 that I ended up having to recut. So, we're on to panel 9. We'll put panel 10 right there with the other two panels. Got to keep our panels in place, right? Um, so, yeah, and of course, no, ow, ah, oh, sorry, you guys can't hold this against me, I can't help it. It's a daily struggle. Okay, let's, let's breathe. And uh, let the muscles strain out. Okay. That's oh, what I mean about epilepsy. Uh, Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go forward with this. There's a lot more in the world that's worse than just having the flu. Okay, but it's a daily. It's a daily. I'll be all right. I'll be all right. Get a drink of water. 
Um, my friend has this mineral water machine. And the water's not bad. We just generally pour in some water and take another bottle of it. Um, so he's been sharing that with me. He has stiff persons. Now I have epilepsy. And um, stiff persons is similar. You can just fall over and seize. Um, yeah. So we both struggle, but we see each other through our day. You know? That's what real friends are for. Absolutely. Real friends are for making sure that you make it through oh, your day. Um, yeah. Absolutely what real friends are for. And I appreciate him being my friend. I cheer him up. He cheers me up. That's what real friends are for. Okay. This goes on the other side, and this one goes here. Excuse me. Absolutely. Absolutely. He's a lovely friend. He's a lovely friend to speak to. Um, and we go through our same struggles every day together. So, I'm going to get this pinned on here. I've been jibber-jabbering for almost 30 minutes. So, I'm going to get this pinned down and sewed. And what I want everybody to do is stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. I'm sorry you had to see that, but... It is what it is, but does it look like it's going to get me down? No. That was a small one. That means later. <laughs> later. I'm not looking forward to the other one. Um, oh, gosh. It affects the muscles in my face as well. I'm not having a stroke. Um, <laughs> I promise. And that's also epilepsy is why I'm missing those teeth. Those broke because of a seizure. Yeah. Um, but it still doesn't stop me. I'll tell you that. It doesn't stop me from being me. And I want you to be you. And I want you to all have a blessed day. And it's just time to get back to what we know best. To keep a positive collective going. And I will see all of you later. Love everybody. And yes, that's still my Knights Templar flag. And it will stay there. Because I wear the medallion of the Brotherhood. My rings should be here soon. I've been saying that. But they're actually supposed to be here soon. So, um... I'll see you all later, just like I said, because later I'll do a sewing show. How about that? That that would be lovely for the weekend. Okay, see you for that.